only happened in a great night. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And a lot less innings, too. Good crowd, huh? Wow. I was shocked. What they announce the crowd? I think I heard 6,700. Yeah, it looked like more than that, didn't more it? More than that, yeah. Oh, my God. Like you said, you guys put this into action four years ago. It didn't happen because of the rain out. And now that you finally have it, you know, was it worth it? Well, I mean, it's easy for me to say because we won, but I think Mike Fox will tell you the same thing. Me and Mike Fox both talked about this game. This is about the fans. It's about the state of North Carolina, the Triangle area, and what baseball is to, to this state. And it's for our players to play in this great ballpark, and it's for the fans. So I guarantee you he's not as upset as you think he might be. Uh, Tuesday night game, like you say, proud that you had out here. Tuesday night game, chilly, which could have turned some people away. 6.30 start, which a lot of people are just getting off work. But the turnout that you all pulled out here, I think, is pretty incredible. Uh, just, the state of college baseball, you can talk to this guy right here. He's been a big promoter of it. The state of college baseball right now is, I'm not, it's, it's the best it's ever been by far, and it's always been good. And just baseball in the state of North Carolina, you look at the number of minor league teams, all the teams in this state that play baseball are very high level, and the, the money that, that uh, that's being given to them. So this is a, it's a, I think it's a big tribute to the fans of North Carolina and baseball in the state of North Carolina. Let's talk about the. You got off to a, a good start, and then uh, got interested there late, and then um, got the home run late. Yeah, they uh, until Evan hit that home run. I mean, we'd left a lot of guys in the scoring position, and they capitalized with that big hit by uh, um, uh, gosh. McGee. McGee, thank you. And uh, he put a good swing on an 0-2 pitch. I think Kleiman left the breaking ball up a little bit. He put a good swing on it, and uh, but. If you look at that point, I'm sitting here thinking, God, we left a lot of, all the guys in scoring position with good hitters up for us, and uh, that was a big hit by uh, Evan. You used a lot of pitchers tonight. I know that you would, but uh, you had them shut out there through the middle part of those innings right there. Let's talk about your pitcher tonight. Well, yeah, I mean, we almost turned that one double play. Stevie couldn't quite get it out of his glove in that one inning, they get a run. And, uh, and then that pop-up, that shouldn't have fell for the for the other run. But then, uh, like I said, McGee put a good swing on the on other two breaking ball we left up. Always feel good to beat those guys, coach. No, it, no, it's not about that. It's, it's about winning games and it's about staying with what we're doing and trying to get to where we want to go. It's, it's not about that at all. How happy are you with the way you guys are playing midweek this season? I'm just happy the way we're playing. Period. We played very, very good. We've been very consistent, um, very disciplined. We work hard and we fall through a lot of injuries to get to where we're at. So I couldn't be more proud of a group of guys that I've ever coached. Patrick Bailey continuing to do what he's done a lot this year, but a big swing in the bat for him today. A couple big swings in the bat for him today. Things to give you a spark. Yeah, Patrick Bailey, I'll tell you, we've had so many great catches here. You and I have talked about it. So many great catches from Brett Austin. If I think back to the old days, Dan Mooney, Colt Morton, I mean, Andrew Kisner, who's in double A now, Jake Moyko last year. We've had so many great catches here, but as a true freshman, Patrick Bailey's been sensational and switch hitting two sides of the plate and obviously he got us off to a good start tonight. Sorry if you've already gone through this, but Evan gets a hold of that one there at the top of the night. How big was that? Oh, it's huge. I mean, Carolina. Well, Carolina fall back and got the big hit from McGee to make it 5 3. And that gives them a little edge, you know, going to the ninth inning. And uh, so I'm sure they're feeling pretty good about things. And uh, that was a big blowout. What about the strikeout with runners on first and third? 